the Jigo Fiesta. In 2012, my wife and I decided to quit working and change our course in life. One year later, after selling the business, the house, and our cars, we boarded a flight to the Philippines with our luggage and two cats. We settled on the island of Samar, a land of unpopulated beaches and unspoiled natural beauty. Four years later, we found ourselves sharing our time under the tropical sun with the island of Guam. Today we have the good fortune of traveling back and forth, where we can enjoy the best that both worlds have to offer, and we are sharing our adventure with you, one day at a time. Well, it's nearing 6 o'clock in the morning and we're here at Island Girl get ready to board and head out. The, uh, the, the flags you see uh, raised on the pole here indicate the previous catch, red being Wahoo and yellow being Mahi Mahi. It's always good to pick a boat that's got flags flying all the time. Well, we're underway. It's nearly sunrise and it's time to start uh, putting some lines in the water as soon as the sun comes up. Now we'll just sit back and relax and uh, let the crew do their work and their, make their preparations and uh, it's up to the captain to get us to where the fish are. So until then, uh, we're just going to take it easy. Here our crewman is consulting with the fish gods for best lure selection. No, I'm just kidding. But it wasn't long before we uh, had our first strike and uh, only took a couple minutes to get this one in the boat. And it wasn't long thereafter that we had three. The crewman explained here that after looking at the skirt, uh, it was obvious a wahoo struck the lure uh, but didn't get hooked. And the reason he knows that is because there's some, uh, some of the skirts missing after a wahoo strike. But it wasn't long thereafter that we did get a wahoo. We just had to haul them in.
here in this scene we experienced a double banger where Mike had one on his line and Julie had one on hers and uh, already she was getting tired and was looking to me for some help but I had the camera and I wasn't going to help her. Nobody was. This was her fish. She had to get it in herself. And just like that, the fish stopped biting and we stopped catching and it was time to assess the lure damage. And the captain decided uh, it was time to head back anyway. Um, so we just took it slow and trolled the rest of the way toward the harbor. The good thing about this crew is they uh, even clean your fish for you and they'll cut it and flay it and do whatever you want them to do um, per your instructions custom fillets oh and of course the heads we have to keep the heads for fish head soup I do that too see what color they're eating and as we headed into the harbor it was uh, more discussion about lures and swapping some fish stories and we had a grand old time on the fantail that boat there and our fishing trip this day was over